So the um, first approximation, or actually it's also the last approximation algorithms that we decided to use uh, is called Theta Sketch. Theta Sketch is a um, generalization of the K minimum values idea. Now, for those of you who don't know what K minimum values is, uh, uh, or KMV is, it's uh, approximation algorithm where K defines the number of elements you store on your sample. So again, we are talking about an approximation algorithm. You don't need to store all the elements, you store only sample of them. This is how you get the constant uh, storage requirements. So K is predefined constant. And minimum values refers to the process of selecting elements to this sample. So the way that it works for each uh, element, you run uh, uh, some hash, hash function, and then you uh, take only those elements with the minimal hash uh, 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 function uh, values. Now with this uh, algorithm, you can estimate set cardinality, which basically means that you can get the number of unique elements in the set. And for us, the greatest benefit of this uh, algorithm was its great support for set theoretic operations. So uh, remember that we, uh, should, uh, uh, we should also be able to uh, calculate the union of two uh, uh, attributes or the intersection of two attributes. So with KMV or Theta Sketch, uh, we managed to get that uh, without losing too much accuracy, which was great. The only problem was when we tried to intersect a very small set with a very big set. Only in this specific uh, scenario, the accuracy was uh, uh, not so good and pretty much unexpected. And uh, Itai will show you some mitigation tactics uh, later in this uh, presentation. Okay, so uh, to give you some intuition to how can we work behind the scene. Now, uh, let's say that we have people standing in the line. Uh, we know the line length. In this case, it's gonna be 100 meters. Um, and uh, we want to know the number of, uh, uh, of people in the line. Now, one way of doing that is just measuring uh, the distance between each pair and calculating the average distance. Now, if we will take the line length divided by the average distance, we will find the exact number of people standing in the line. Um, but of course, I want to show you the KMV process. So in this case, uh, we, will, we will start with K equal to one. We will not take all, all the distances. We will take only the minimal distances. So let's start with K equal to five sorry, with uh, uh, k equal to one. In this case, five is the minimal length. So this is the only uh, distance uh, that we store. And now if we take 100 divided by five, we will estimate that there are 20 uh, people standing in the line. Now you can count and see that uh, 20 is not such a great estimation. So because there are actually 10 people standing in the line here. So let's see if uh, increasing the k can improve, the, improve our estimation. So with k equal to four, we need to take the we need to take and store only the four minimal distances. So in this case, it's going to be five, ten, fifteen, and ten. Now, if we uh, take the average of these uh, distances, uh, we will see that the average distance is ten. And now, if we take one hundred divided by ten, we will estimate there are ten people standing in the line, which is a much better uh, um, um, approximation. Now, of course, this uh, example is made up, yeah? So don't try this at home. But as you can see uh, in the following slide, there is a very strong connection between the K value and the errors that you can get. And surprisingly, even for uh, relatively small K values, like 32,000, you can get an error which is less than 1% for most of, most of the time. Now, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because larger K means that you have more elements on your sample. Uh, but there is a trade-off here because more elements mean more storage. So you need to find the right balance between the accuracy requirements for your solution and the uh, storage requirements for your solution and find the numbers that works best for you. 